Hi everyone, I'm Sandra, Hoi Haptor's wife, and today I'm going to show you the unboxing of our new 3D printer. As you can see, the package is very big and also heavy, but with a trolley cart it's easier to take it home from the DHL warehouse. Well, finally at home, so let's open the box! As you can see, this printer is already fully assembled. Inside is a small box too with some accessories. Let's open the box and see what's inside. I can see the power cable and there is also a printed sample. This printed sample can be bought online too. And the quality looks very good. Next is the memory card adapter and the memory card. Inside the memory card case there is also a couple of probes for the auto level. Next a bag with a couple of nozzles, spare fitting, zip ties and a tube. Many tools are included and also some clamps. And finally, a long USB cable. Stuck in one of the foams is an envelope with a list of parts. And finally, some filament. They included almost 1 kilogram of white PLA filament. So, it's all for my side. Hope you enjoyed the unboxing. And now, stay tuned for the first power on with Rui Raptor. Bye! Hi guys, Rui Raptor here for the first power on of a brand new D Force D300 from Triangle Lab. This printer is 82 centimeters tall and the printing area is 254 millimeters or 10 inches in diameter and 290 millimeters in height. But let's check the top side and see what's inside. For the three axes, I can see installed three latest smoothers from Triangle Lab. These are equipped with eight diodes each. I plan to talk a bit more about these in the next video. The board is an MKS Gen L 
and it's equipped with four Allegro A4988 drivers. Underneath the printer we can find the power supply. It's a 24 volt and 16.6 amp output. The input voltage selector is on its side. Back to the top side we can see a DC-DC converter and a 12 volt output for the Gen board. The converter has another output on the other side with 12 and 24 volt output. From there connects to a smaller board. The heat pad is powered by 24 volt and controlled by the Genboard internal MOSFET. The big cable goes down to the hot end and will power the fan, the heat element, the sensor probe, etc. On the hot end side, there is a small board to distribute the connections. The probe is not fully automatic so we need to pull the probe down before starting the auto level sequence. The sensing component is a Hall effect sensor. One curious aspect is the hot end cooling. The fan pushes the air against the heatsink and then it comes out to the sides into the black printed parts. The parts will then force the air to come out from the bottom. This air will then cool the filament. This is something I want to check a bit deeper and talk about in the review video. The extruder motor is bigger than the axis ones. There is no reference if this extruder can handle flex filament, so that is something I will have to test. The print surface is something that I'm very anxious to test. This is the Flex Build Plate System from Triangle Lab. All three axes are equipped with linear rails and the end stops are all optic for better accuracy. None of the stepper motors have labels on them, so I don't know which exactly are they and what are the specs. The construction and materials used look very good. For transportation purposes, the belts are secured with zip ties. Before the first power on, the very first things we need to do is to cut these zip ties and check the input voltage selector of the power supply. Now let's plug the power cable and turn on the printer. Immediately we can see light not only from the display but also from the two front pillars. In them we can see LED bars illuminating the printing area. Under the hot end there is also an LED to illuminate the area near the nozzle. The air from the fan can be felt under the hot end as I predicted. Now let's finally move the axis by homing the printer. Ok, it's fast and perfect. Now, for a quick test, let's run the auto level sequence. For that, I need to pull out the probe and execute the auto level on the display. And there she goes. The printer scans the entire bed with 57 points. For me it's hypnotizing to see a Delta printer moving. So far, so good. I can't wait to start printing and test this printer.
That's it for the first power on. Don't miss my next videos with the DeForce V300. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check all the new videos. Thanks for watching guys, bye!